hello friends hello students this is my video number 3 in this video i am going to discuss about the topic memory and memory is the storage unit where we can store the data and instruction files for uh, future use here we can save the data temporarily as well as permanently and we can use that data whenever we require in the future okay so uh, there are two types of memory primary memory and secondary memory first here we will discuss about the primary memory primary memory is also called internal memory main memory or temporary memory just i, I tell, told you it is the main memory that means it is mainly used by the cpu okay to process the data whenever we enter any data and instruction it first goes to the main memory that is primary memory and the <coughs> and cpu uses that data for the processing it is temporary in nature and it stores the data till the computer is on so when the computer is switched off it loses all its data so it is volatile in nature okay memory uh, primary memory has limited storage capacity but faster in speed and expensive now there are three types of primary memory ram rom and cache memory first i will discuss about the ram ram stands for random access memory <clears throat> in this memory the data can be read and can be read and access randomly okay it is a type of rewritable that means we can record many times and read many times and write many times so it is called random access memory it is stored all the data and instruction which entered by the user and that data and instruction passes to the cpu for the processing it also uses it sorry it also stores the output generated by the cpu and and it is also a main memory it stores data till our computer is switched on our computer is working it also stores all the application and program which are currently in use so it determines the determines the speed of our computer okay and when the computer is switched off it erases all its data clear so on that basis and uh, ram has a sto limited storage capacity it is expensive and smaller in size okay but it makes the computer speed processing speed fast okay there are uh, there are four types of there are three types of sorry four types of ram is static ram dynamic ram static dynamic ram and ddr ram okay now we will discuss about the rom read only memory as it has name given read only memory the data and instruction can be written only once and can be read many times and the data and instruction can, uh, once stored on it cannot be modified cannot be changed cannot be erased okay so it is called read only memory okay and as you know it is a type of primary memory but the data stored on it is permanent clear so uh, first of all i would like to clear you that the data and instruction uh, written on rom are written by the manufacturer as per the requirement and configuration of the system okay once the data is written it cannot be changed and the data and instruction written written on rom helps the system in basic input output system bios it helps in the booting process it helps in uploading the operating system so computer uses rom while starting on clear there are four types of rom first is programmable rom second is erasable programmable programmable rom third is electrically erasable programmable rom clear after that we will discuss about the cache memory okay Ca okay cache memory is very smaller in size but its important is very much okay just you can think that it is used intermediate between primary memory and cpu as you know that our computer is a multitasking device multiple tasks go to the cpu for the process but at a one time computer uh, cpu can process one single task 
सो रेस्ट ऑफ द टास्क विच गोज टू द सीपी इट होल्ड ऑन द कैश मेमोरी दैट मीन्स इट 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 पुट द टास्क इन वेटिंग इन होल्ड ओके एंड एज सुन एज इट कंप्लीट द कंप्लीट द टास्क ओके इट इट कॉल बैक द टास्क विच हैज बीन केप्ट ऑन द कैश मेमोरी सो इट मेक्स द प्रोसेसिंग स्पीड ऑफ सीपी यू फास्ट सो इट इज यूज इन बिटवीन रैम एंड सीपी यू टू मेक द प्रोसेसिंग स्मूथ एंड फास्ट इट इज वेरी स्मॉल इन साइज बट वेरी एक्सपेंसिव क्लियर तो दैट मीन्स इन ओवरऑल वी कैन से दैट सीपी यू यूजेज द कैश मेमोरी टू पुट द टास्क ऑन होल्ड वेन इट गेट्स फ्री इट कॉल बैक द टास्क एंड प्रोसेस इट क्लियर नेक्स्ट थिंग इज दैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सेकेंडरी मेमोरी ओके यू ऑल नो वे वट एवर द इंस्ट्रक्शन डेटा एंड फाइल वी स्टोर वी यूज इन आवर कंप्यूटर दैट आर टेम्पोरली यूज टेम्पोरली स्टोर इन द प्राइमरी मेमोरी बट नेचर ऑफ द प्राइमरी मेमोरी इज दैट वेन वी स्विच ऑफ द कंप्यूटर इट इट इज ऑल थिंग्स सो टू अवॉइड दिस सिचुएशन we used to permanently save that data in secondary memory secondary memory is used for the permanent save it is non volatile in nature it is also known as ancillary memory it is also known as permanent memory clear so the data and information which is saved in the secondary memory can be used later on whenever we required clear now hmm and uh, you can just you know that primary memory has a limited storage capacity but secondary uh, secondary memory has the large storage capacity clear you know ram has only 2 gb 4 gb or 8 gb storage capacity but our hard disk comes in even more than 1 tb storage capacity so you can think that which uh, storage device can store the large amount of data clear and this is quite clear once the data is saved in secondary memory it is it remains there till the user is not deleting it and secondary memory is cheaper than the permanent sorry primary memory it can be internal as well as external clear okay the secondary memory is again divided in two part magnetic media and optical media in magnetic media we will discuss about the magnetic disk and hard disk the magnetic disk or floppy disk it was used in earlier time now it is not in use that magnetic disk or floppy disk is is a small disk on which the magnetic material is coated to store the data it has it has circular tracks and sectors which is store the data okay it has very less storage capacity about 1 mb to 2 mb so nowadays it is not in very use next we will discuss about the hard disk and i think you all are familiar about the hard disk hard disk is the most most important and widely used in all the computers it has large storage capacity it first of all i would like to clear you that hard disk clear it has another name manchester okay hard hard disk is consisting of consisting of round uh, disk called plat clear these these disk are stacked on spindle just like this and these disk are stacked one after other on this okay and each disk has its own read and write head that read and write head can be can read the data and access the data from any part of the hard disk so it makes the working of hard disk fast and data can be randomly read from the any plate clear okay ha on plate on plate the uh, the storage uh, place is coated with the magnetic material on which circular tracks are there sectors are there so sectors are the small divisions where we store the data data can be read randomly data can be write randomly and it is also rewritable clear so it has a storage capacity uh, more than 1 tb 
clear so we use as per our requirement clear now second is optical media in optical media we use cd and dvd cd stands for compact disc dvd stands for digital versatile disc earlier it was known as digital video disc that means it was primarily used for storing videos now this disc are now dvd is used for storing not only videos as well as audios sound uh, documents and etc file and it is a portable device that means portable means what we can carry it to the to different device we we can transport the data from one device to another device okay we were discussing about the cd compact disc it is a small circular disc it comes in two sides okay ha huh. and its storage capacity is up to 700 mb clear to uh, 700 mb clear now uh, in dvd we cannot store the high definition videos sounds okay so to uh, solve uh, there are two types of cd cdr and cdrw cdr means only recordable in which data once recorded and read many times cdrw means what rewritable in which data can be recorded many times and can be write many times next we will discuss about the we will discuss about the dvd dvd stands for digital versatile disc which has uh 25 times more storage capacity than dvd and it can store high definition sound audio video and files and it is more easy to carry the more easy to carry uh, and store the large amount of data in it okay dvd is coated with the uh, thin plastic material which is made up of aluminium which is store the uh, data you have seen the reflected surface of the dvd it is coated with aluminium material okay on which data is stored so dvd also comes in single sided double sided and single sided uh, dvd has the storage capacity 4.7 gb to 15 gb okay clear and <clears> hmm <throat> clear and uh, there are two types of dvd dvd r and dvd rw dvd recordable and dvd rewritable so in uh, D, uh, cd has the small storage capacity dvd has the large storage capacity clear now the new disc has come in market is that blu ray disc clear it has a storage capacity five times more than the dvd that means in single sided blu ray disc uh we can store 25 gb and in double sided we can store up to 50 gb data as its name blue ray disc that means blue ray violet, blue violet rays are used to read and write the data on disc clear it is more adva- advanced and it is and accessing the data is fast is faster than cd and dvd clear now we will uh, talk about the flash drive and i think you all are very familiar with this flash drive its another name is pen drive and thumb drive it is most portable device it is the most portable device okay just you imagine about the cd and dvd it, it was also a portable device but when the when there is a scratch in cd and dvd at any place the data stored in that place can be erased can be erased but if you talk about the pen drive it is a it is very easy to uh, port the data from one device to another device we can store multimedia files data high definition sound videos clear and there is a special port in our in our uh, computer laptops called usb port which is used to connect the pen drive clear it is also called usb drive clear so uh like other storage devices we can read the data from pen drive and write the data in pen drive many times there is no doubt clear and we can uh, it comes in various sizes as you know it very well 
16 GB, 32 GB, 64 GB, 128 GB. Okay, even more than this. Clear? So it is very cheap and easy and a small, which can be kept at any place and can be stored that can be transferred the data from one place to another place it can be hold it can be uh, carry in the pockets clear after that memory stick you know it very well memory stick that means memory card okay memory stick or memory card is mainly used in portable devices small devices like camera ipods clear smartphones to store the data it is very small in size and can store large amount of data so to make these uh, devices very small we use the memory stick clear and it and in memory stick we can also use many types of data many types of data uh, not only many types any types of data like file programs audio video sound etc clear and it is portable device but we need a card reader and a memory card reader to access the data or transfer the data from one device to another device clear so this is this is all for today in this video and whatever i have made you taught you can make you can make it understood and for notes i have uploaded the notes video okay so you can write the notes in your copy notes are quite clear no any doubt clear so anytime i uploaded two videos one the lecture of that video another the notes notes for noting down in the copy and this is for lecture which you which help you to make you understood clear thanks students see you in next video in next topic the types of computer okay bye